Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. So, something I have yet to do in Mirror Dungeon 3 Hard is a solo run. So what better time to do a nice Suncliff solo? We've gotten pretty standard passes for a lot of people. I've got you for the blunt damage up, and uh, you two might not do anything, but you might do something, so that's whatever. And also, Linton Gregor, funny passive is basically made for Heathcliff, so, uh, or for Suncliff, so it might work out funny. As per usual, I'm, or as per I can do, I'm doing this run a day early because, I mean, I can. Simple as that, really. Um, no, but because I can basically start the next week with 20 different levels. I'm already level 120, I already got all the rewards, but I'd like to get more boxes, so that's funny. Okay, uh, very simple first turn. So, Sunflip. In case you're going to the big story of Sunflip, turn run. Always still one. Without a doubt, that is your number one priority because you need three enemy to trigger rain of tears and you only start with two usually. However, um, we do have Zippo Lighter, so we're gonna get more resources. We've got Lethal Graph to heal on Stagger, and we've got Perversion so that we gain more eagle resources. We also have Peace of Relationship so we gain more levels. We can get eagle gift. Of course, it's thanks to having uh, the Witch of Stars, just got some pretty good stuff to start out with. I rolled for Lethal Graph, and, you know, the other stuff I got was pretty good, too, so I figured might as well roll with it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, and then once you have the passive triggered, every turn, make sure you go for either counter or the skill 3 to get your syncing up, so when you get hit, you get that high protection, and you just take half as much damage from all sources. Or not from all sources, but from attack. Uh, a little bit from all sources, technically, but no need to be too, uh... Concerned with the specific, am I right? Nice. Counter this guy, we got some paralysis. We need to be a little careful that we do not immediately corrode, because it is very easy to immediately corrode, especially if we're going to build up so much thinking with some of these um, spread out. You go over two skill threes are kind of a bad idea a lot of the times. Because it means if we take a lot of one side deck, we are just going to corrode. And we really don't want to throw because then we're just kind of wasting eagle resources and our sand to get brought back to zero, which is not nice. We'll try that. We'll do some clashes to get our sandy up. We'll get hit a little bit um, in order to get our sandy down a little bit. And so hopefully we remain in decent equilibrium state. Right. That's the hope. Because remember, another thing with Heathcliff's passive he just, is he does basically consume one sinking count each turn and loses Sandy based on potency. Also, his skill 2 can- if, you're, if your savings are too low, you can always use your skill 2 to reduce it a little bit, so it's not nearly as worrying. Yeah, like, we're pretty high sanity here, so, uh... Oops. I meant to do that. We're gonna let this guy pack us a little bit, clear the sinking on us a little bit to get our Sandy down, we'll counter him, of course. But ideally, you want to stay around like a 0 20 sanity range, I feel like. Anything lower, and you're kind of in a little bit of a scary position where you can kind of throw it a little too easily, it feels like. I was like, because we have piece of relief, we will be high level the enemies a lot, and so we're really not going to get a lot of SD from killing with these early fights. Actually, never mind, you got SD from killing anyways. What level are these guys? I'm level 40. So I guess we didn't get SD from killing, but I thought we did. I don't know. Anyways, we can we can just kill these guys. We'll win clashes and stuff, that's fine. We'll get our Sandy roughly neutral-ish. And that'll be good enough. Move on to the next fight. Many things you always gotta look out for. Enemies that do um slash damage are really scary because well kind of beat the slash. So it's definitely a way you can just kinda die. So uh be wary of that. Um what else? Bleed bleed isn't as bad for um sure. Bleed isn't as bad for fun as it is for a lot of the solo units. And that's simply because, um, there you go, some fierce energy. And that's just because he can just spam counters if need be, and it works pretty well. Right. Although his bleed is still a little rough. We're the same fight again, it seems like, yeah, cool. We'll get that counter so we don't take too much damage here. That sort of thing. Got that gloom damage up thanks to the Linton passive. 
and passive just kind of feels more annoying than anything. It's supposed to be good for Suncliff or whatever, but honestly, Constant 5 Sandy Dream is not good for Suncliff solos. Suncliff solos, um, his sanity is usually fine enough as is. An additional thing bringing his sanity down is likely to throw off the balance a lot of the times. I, re I figured I was gonna run it anyways though, because we have to at least test it a little bit, right? Like, one damage up is nice, don't get me wrong, so Puddle Stump is he does big damage healer. Especially given how much blood damage that he gets from both his own passive and also the DAT Rodeon support passive. Because of this one, you know, 35% of HP you take in a turn, you get one blunt damage up the next to the max of three blunt damage up. Which is, of course, very funny. It's a little bit too much thinking, probably. That's fine. We'll actually spend some good skill, too, though, so I'm not too concerned. I also guy just dies, which actually seems pretty likely. Yeah. We only spend seeing if we actually land the fourth point. Okay, we're fine, though. We didn't get the counter off, because the counter would have her sinking a little bit more than I'd like. I just don't want to corrode. That's the main thing. Very much push and bully. That being push and pull, that's why. I'm not talking about pulleys. That's a different thing entirely. And it's also very not relevant. The more you know. Okay, we'll go for three clashes here and force a counter. The sake of the funny passive, lithograph healing, always nice. Lithograph healing, always nice. This guy dies. Not to this attack, but he dies to the skill one. Oh, the skill one's going for this guy. Never mind, huh? Well, we don't need to worry about the counters then, if we can just kind of freely kill these guys by just spamming skill ones and that's good enough for me. Alright then. I should have seen to see what resources we actually wanted more of. We probably should have gone for the skill threes just because sloth resources we don't get nearly as much as the others. Not that we really need sloth compared to the others. Gloom and Envy are always the important things because you need Envy for the passive and you need both Gloom and Envy to use AVDD. I think the perversion that look at even more Envy and Gloom and sloth. The ones we already have, just by killing. And when we kill the counter, we will just get a little bit of everything, thanks to it being wrapped into that version mark. Um, the shot, really good for us, because, um, we can keep a relationship with press, press, so now we are level 50, baseline. So that's funny. If we wanted to, we could also heal your HP and SP up, but we don't want to. Pierce fight, a little bit scary, that's for sure, because Pierce can be, uh... It can be Shmi, who's really rough. Or it can be Nico, who's not too bad. These guys, I mean, the Sawblade ones do Slash, but there's no other Sawblade ones in this fight. So it's not that scary. Do you have Slash attacks? No, you're, you're, you've got Vibration Depression. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you're not that big of a threat, though. That's what I'm getting to. We'll go for the spread out. No, we're just gonna counter. I'm considering it. I kind of want to get the passive sooner rather than later, though, so we're just gonna immediately do that. We'll see if this goes through for another time. These guys are beating Pierce. Feels pretty good. Our counters is just good damage. They're gonna stack a lot of tremor on us, that's for sure. And so we need to be a little wary of that potentially. So this is the turn they traversed, right? No, not this turn. Next turn you traverse, then is it? It's some bit like they just focus on stacking up a bunch of tremor and then they start the tremor bursting. A little scary, that's for sure. Especially if it gets out of hand, which it might, honestly possible um yeah we'll we'll probably get some damage done here don't want to be hit too much right and we get lethograph they know that we really need it they're not doing much damage to us but if they use a loud timbers i don't remember for sure growth banner is not the size of enemies i pay attention to too much and for pale as the summer next turn so um, Nico sure did just give us 16 paralyzed. But for a normal unit, this would be really bad. Um, we are not normally in though, okay? Yeah, you guys are trying bursting. We can just clash you guys, though. That's the thing, right? Like, we can just do this this turn. We'll take one turn burst from you, and that's it. We're getting the regain to get, like, basically all tails. I guess we might not get our tails necessarily forever if we use too much of the paralysis immediately in clashing. Yeah, like, we're already almost out of paralysis, but. We have got enough to last us through the first point of the spread out, and that's good enough, right? Would've been nice to have a little more prep. Honestly, 70 paralysis goes down really quickly on a unit that's got a lot of coins. When crashing his enemies going for a lot of coins. That's the only turn burst we need to take that turn, so I'm not very scared. Oh, you're traversing. 
And you're the only person who's trying bursting. So once again, we're gonna take one try burst this turn. The horrors. We're gonna stack more Kramer on us though, so that, that's a little scary. I think we will just kill all these guys before they get a chance to do anything too big for us, right? That's the hope, at least. Even if they do stagger us, I don't know if they're gonna do enough damage for us to be too concerned, especially if we can build up some sinking beforehand. Don't know how likely that is to happen, though. Yeah, this spread out is gonna be pretty decent. Although, I guess for Sandy's a little hyper to do too much damage. But we get the sinking on cell, so you're gonna do some damage to us, but we've got the protection. But yeah, the next turn of I think, will just stagger us. Which is fine, because... Double target's Trevor Count on hit is a very funny thing for us them to be going for. And I kinda wanna let that hit us for the bit. Um... Like, oh no, you're gonna... <laughs> this is stupid, but it's also really funny, right? I play it like this, because I'm never Trevor so I'm not too concerned this turn. So, on um, this way, they're gonna- uh, my tremor count is gonna get doubled. I get during the fight, I want to paralyze and then double my tremor count. The next tremor burst staggers anyway, so I mean, might as well let them, right? It sounds funny. <laughs> nice immediate stagger. This guy's also getting staggered immediately. It just got a kill, too. <laughs> We're just playing with these guys, honestly. That's kind of what it boils down to. Oh, darn. Oh, no, you didn't get staggered. I was expecting him to get staggered, which would have been sad. You get staggered though? You don't. Okay, so we're getting a nice bit of paralysis and increasing our tremor count. Our tremor oh, dude's gonna get maxed out here, by the way. What, you didn't? Oh, you didn't get heads! No, because your sound is so low. You didn't have the heads there. You didn't get into the paralysis by target stem next turn. Darn. I was really looking forward to that. Oh well. I'm not that concerned, of course. We do this, and that's probably gonna be good enough, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had that weird Trevor passive he has active, but it didn't matter in the end. Easy enough floor one. It's a bit of a long floor one. Those are the solo runs take long. I also thought I was playing my food a little bit there, though, because I really wanted to get, like, a 50. I wanted to see if I get 99 paralysis. I've never seen it happen, I guess it can theoretically happen here. Um, what are we afraid of? They take less damage, defense level plus four, defense skill base. I mean, I think this does the least of everything. Greenfield doesn't help us too much, but that's fine. We can sell it or something in the shop, right? And we do get a shop here. Now, what do we want? Prejudice is healing. It's not great healing, but it is something. Five of the resonance power will never trigger, but 15% healing per fight. The place is a better home word. That is true. I'm willing to roll with it for that purpose, if nothing else. Mm. Nebulizer is funny. We can get some poise stuff going, potentially. We'll grab Pendant too if we're rolling with that. Mile post will pay off in the long run. Roll again. Wound Claire is actually pretty nice for the sake of our passive, I guess. Can we afford it if we sell that? No, we need to sell more things, which I don't really, I don't really care enough, I don't think. Gathering Skulls is nice to have. So we'll continue on. Here's a big risky encounter. Hmm. What are the odds this kills us in like a horrible bloody massacre? Pretty low, right? I think so. Ooh. I'm lucky they're going for a lot of blunt stuff that's gonna do barely any to us, but uh. Interesting. This could be rough, honestly. Oh, nice. We're getting a lot of the funny interlocking time. And that's the point where it first did it. We found it at 30% in stored. 3 count fixed damage by 1.5 times. They're doing, they're doing cumulative, like, no damage is the thing. And game 3 by next turn. I don't even think that happened. Did they not inflict a bunch of it? I thought they inflicted, like, a bunch of it to us. I guess they didn't. So they're going for the Pierce stack, but they're a little bit scary because they're neutral to Pierce. But only, really only a, a little bit scary. It comes down to it. And um, we're going to want to clash a little bit here. This will spend some of our thinking, but that's fine. Yeah, I can live with this. 
Oh, that would be very nice. As there's unfortunate, but it happens, right? <laughs> oh, we killed, so we didn't even spend our sinking. That's nice. We get our protection, our sandy goes down a fair bit. Not enough for us to pull it, of course, but a decent bet. An acceptable amount, that's for sure. I'll do it like that, yeah. Need to make sure we win some clashes this turn. Don't want to go for skill 3, because we really don't want more thinking on self than the amount we need for the sake of triggering the passive. And we'll win some clashes here, so I'm you'll go up. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. Nice. Once again, we're going to want to go for a counter somewhere along the line, so that'll be good enough. Yeah. Get our five protection once again. We've got one protection thanks to Otis this turn, so it's going to be a sick protection type turn. Are there any more things that can give us protection? Not particularly, no. I don't think so. Six, I think, is basically the soft cap for us. I don't think there's any passives that give protection other than G Corp Otis. The passives that do basically the same thing, but not technically count as protection, since that's, you know, the most important base merge, so just our 10% damage reduction passive. Why they're so solid. Is there any passive we're not clearing here? This is a resonance. So we need to get the two gloom resonance to get the defense level up benefit. Which happens fairly frequently, doesn't it? But... We'll counter you. Once again, it's just safe. Even if it's not like the most necessary to focus on like every time. You wonder if we're gonna see more T Corp people. It doesn't really seem like we're gonna see T Corp people. I mean, what am I saying? Of course we're not gonna see T Corp people. Oh yeah, I haven't even talked about that. I've been so focused in the run, but we are two hours away from the final part of Canto 6. Like that's insane. It's so close. And it's gonna be so peak. It's gonna be so unfathomably peak. Like, so unfathomably peak that you're not gonna be able to fathom it. That's how unfathomable it'll be. That's how unfathomable the horrors are gonna be. And yeah, just kill this guy. Awesome. We're getting a new gift for that fight, so that's nice. Early blows are gonna be good for us, especially since we're just gonna gain a stupid amount of, uh... We have a stupid amount of levels over the enemy already. Damn, Aaron's take. Um... It's good for egos, I guess. The only single coin thing we have, but sure. Ooh, Star Luminary. This is actually pretty nice for us. If we can win it. Who's got good chances? You need 2 out of 3. You need 1 out of 2. You also need 1 out of 2. Oh, uh, I believe in Linton. Good. It's worth believing in Linton. I always believe in Linton. Yeah, it also means we're about to get a bunch of egos, including Heath Defines. I wonder if Heath Defines is going to be, like, really good with... Suncliff, right? Might be. Okay, we're gonna just do this immediately here. Because I do not want to take a bunch of- Actually, they're not taking bleed this turn, but they're taking a bunch of attack power down. I'd rather just stagger them a bunch, right? It's simple enough, dude. The attacks we're gonna be taking aren't gonna be too big of damage shields, right? And they should just stagger all three of these guys instantly, so that's nice. Yeah, and Corpus, where there's a situation where I would say just ego. Just got I got an ego! <laughs> Normal thing people will say from time to time, right? I'm sure we'll do that. We're gonna pass up. For safety, right? We've got a lot of debuffs and buffs and stuff on us right now. As it happens, we've also got the six protection, so. We're living. And we just kill one of these guys this turn. And like now, like there's a bunch of these guys that are just doing nothing this turn. Like you're countering. Like how do you? How will you feel if I just counter your counter? Like you can't do anything about that. Actually, I probably should be clashing here because my stamina is a little low. So maybe this was a misplay, but that's fine if it was. It won't be that big of a misplay. But it's not still threeing. Like it's not like we're in a very bad place on sanity. So this skill three is the only thing you gotta be super careful of because if you build up too much thinking on self by using like multiple skill threes in the same turn, that's how you corrode. And it's a pretty easy way to corrode at that. We'll win some clashes here, we'll be fine. 
this guy just dies. Nice. I still love the counter animation so much. There's the umbrella summoning more umbrellas from it. It's so cool looking. Definitely worthy of being like the first multi coin counter skill, right? It's cool. At least I think so, right? So many Sonic with deniers, even in this day and age, it's kind of insane. Some people will just take time to learn. Even like people are like, oh yeah, like it's a what's the term people use? A band-aid fix? That's what a lot of people have said for like the Linton Gregor passive, it's just a band-aid fix for Suncliff. When it's not even very good for Suncliff, it's pretty detrimental a lot of the times it feels like. Even if it's like works well there, it's just kind of a weird passive. And like too, like Suncliff doesn't need a bandage fix. He's already fine. A lot of people just still do not understand that fact, which is still so, so strange, isn't it? Well, that's fine. We take a fair bit of damage from you, but that's fine. We get a counter off. You can do damage damage. But you know, being weak with Slash and Blue, your attacks really did not do very much to us. We are kind of close to corroding, though, so... Gotta be a little wary. Gotta make sure we win some classes next turn. Like, you know, it's, it's just a basically like a style a couple turns so you can clash everything right. That's usually like the play. They're gonna get become aggressive soon, that's fine. I'm not that concerned. We'll win some clashes, we'll go some puddle stomp this turn so we can just win some clashes, get our sandy up a fair bit. You oh, you almost got instantly staggered. Not quite really, but you know, you took a fair bit of damage, so it looked vaguely like you might have been instantly staggered. You got instantly staggered though, so that's cool. <laughs> Some HP healing, always nice. Love that lethal grass. Okay, you're gonna try to tear us apart. Uh, the horrors. Not very scary, that's the bit. Um, we'll do that though, that'll work. We use the weak attack to get the protection, so if we don't stagger the main guy, we'll be pretty fine. And then we spread out you. Ooh. Lost one of the coins, that's fine. This might stagger or it might not, in which case we're still gonna resist the rest of your attacks, right? Oh, it just, just barely didn't stagger. If we hadn't lost that first coin, we would've been so good there, but that's okay. You're not gonna do too much damage to us. You will actually do a lot of SP damage to us, though. We are gonna corrode next turn. Okay, this is a fine fight to corrode in, though. Unfortunate to lose the resources, but like... We'll live. I clash the guy on the right at all? No? Alright. Fine. Alright, we gotta do that. Oh, there we go, that clashes the guy on the right. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna spend a lot of resources. We've actually got a lot of bleed here, so a little bit rough. That's alright, though. We'll live. We got milepost, right? I think so. So we've got some healing when we move on to the next floor. And this will do a lot of damage, so that's pretty good. Don't need to worry about taking too much damage other than the bleed this turn. Although we, we can have rest off immediately next door, right? So I might want to focus. I might want to heal up from that. Although if I do heal up, that means I'll get the max sanity too, which isn't fun. So I don't know if that will be the play. And I'll think about it. I'll sit on it a little bit, right? As they say. Yeah, one more. For good luck. We love corroding. We love corroding. That's fine, I didn't really play well that previous turn. I could have played a lot better if I just thought through my actions a little harder, so we lose a lot of resources because of that, that's fine. We've got zip away and fights take a while when you're doing solo runs, so it's not the biggest deal. We also do spend a fair bit of like our sloth too, which is not nice, but it's fine once again. Um, what do we do here? Deal more damage is scary. Final power, base power, they're basically the same thing. Do we just take something from the flask for that effect? If I had ended the us too much, we'll just take this. Final power plus one is relatively bearable. And yeah, we do get the rest up here, we probably want to heal up. Okay, you're going to get the max sanity, and that's not nice, but it'll be worth it. Navalizer upgrade doesn't help us too much. Pen Nostalgia first upgrade helps us a fair bit. This one doesn't help us at all, though. I guess this helps us for a little bit more poised gain. Eh. Doesn't matter too much. I think we just press on. 
If I get to LA, they're probably the way to go, I think. It'd be pretty easy. Usually they are. They're not big threats, usually. Yeah, sanity moment, that's fine. I'm not too concerned. So they're gonna do a lot of damage, but we'll get the... We'll get the passive rolling, and we're not going to take too much damage. And our sanity will go down. We'll just try to have this be like a sanity lock type of run, or type of fight, right? One where that's going to be one of our main goals is just get our sanity down to a bit of a better level. I just wanted to get the healing, bro. I didn't want to be... I didn't know exactly how I'd be. Imagine if I was, like, just slowly above a stagger course going into this fight, though, and I'd be pretty soft lock and I've lost the run. Couldn't reset my way until a good fight at that rate, right? Unless, you know, I egoed something well. Spread out. I'll probably over spread out here. This attack does the most to me, so that's probably the one I want to deal with. We'll also counter you, sure. We're over to spread out because I want a fair bit of seeing myself. A single thing of this shouldn't be enough for us to be in too bad of a position, right? We'll have a fair bit of sinking on ourselves, and we'll be able to get our sanity down thanks to it. We do win the clash, of course. So we do gain a bunch of sanity there, but that's fine. We staggered that thing, and that thing would have done more damage to us than most of the other attacks, because we were weak to it. Yeah, we're down to neutral sanity now, though, so that's good. Kill you. And then counter the other two, probably. It'll work. He resists Bloom, so we might not kill Kill, but... No, we did kill Kill, that's nice. Works for me. If we can pull the Clover, that would also be nice for us to get the poise a little bit more manageable. Because once we hit, like, turn 3, we've got enough potency, but not enough count. So that we're going to be getting close, basically, anyways. But we're not going to be getting nearly enough count to actually sustain it in the slightest. Just fine, right? So it's, it's very random poise to be going for because, well, we don't better from poise that much, but it's always a damage up, right? Poise is always worth it to a degree. Yeah, at this point, we're going to want to do some clashing. Clash, and then double counter. And that'll work. He's wondering, we're clashing the ones that are weak to the bottle stop, because that means they'll basically just die even if we get a couple heads in there, right? Yeah. Because you're weak to Blunt, and the Gloom guys are weak to both Blunt and Gloom. Or the rat guys are weak to both blunt and gloom. I said gloom guys because they're weak to gloom and I was thinking about it. It happens. And we get some counters on these guys. It's a decent light. They're not particularly like resistant or weak to it, I don't think. Do they resist wrath? I don't remember what the lust guys resist alongside lust. Whatever it is, it's fine then, right? What do you guys resist again? Gluttony, that's the one. Okay. Um, do not spread out, that's for sure. I'll double up on some of these guys, actually. And then we'll counter you, yeah. That'll work. Seems good. Wanna win some clash to keep our sandy high while still, you know, not winning every clash to get our sandy too high. I think I've just been saying the same thing a lot in regards to that, but like, that's probably what's basically just the entire game plan, right? It's all about fairy management. And you know, to some people, you know, having to actually manage your IDs is too much, and they hate Sunquist for it. It is unfortunate, it's fun. Nice. It's cool, they're all staggered here, so I can just finish them all off, right? We do that. We're actually getting the <laughs> Yi Song, the Spice Bush passive action. So we get more damage from mass attacks. You know what? After 5 Sun Glyph, just give it a counter mass attack. Give it, make it so the counter has, like, some weight on it at low sanity or something, right? I think that would be a very funny thing to do and a very balanced thing to do. I don't know about you, but, you know, if anyone should have a mass attack counter, it should be Sun Glyph. He deserves it. I think the animation is fancy enough to work for mass tech anyways.
Okay. Oh, this is actually potentially not bad. Okay, we didn't get it. Like, we didn't care that much. Medkit only helps us if we're, like, losing, right? Uh, where do we go for? Pure Speak or Blunt Speak? It's probably gonna be Crabs or Rose Banner here. And this could be, like, End Corp or something rough, right? I'll go for Pure Speak. I think Blunt Speak is it's more likely to be something consistent, but Pure Speak... Crabs, yeah. Crabs are actually a little scary. Thinking about it, thinking... I should have been like, oh, crap, that's not good. Yeah, because these are very rude. Because we're just going to get a lot of Rupture basically immediately. So I think the plan is going to be just... I'm um, killing these guys fast. We're not going to get a protection here, and that's because these guys aren't going to do too much damage to us. I mean, they might do some a fair bit of damage, really, but... We need to stagger them, especially the main one, because he's going to put so much this random, like, Rupture on us. That it's going to be really rude if we don't deal with them soon. I don't really think this is the way to go. It's not going to do the most damage, but that's fine. That's something, I guess. We're going to... It at least wins one of the classes, though, right? Because now we have 10 rupture count. Or 9 rupture count, technically, but... That is not good. It's like 10 rupture... Yeah, that's the issue. Rupture count... This is going to hit, basically, no matter what, right? I don't think we can stop that very reasonably. Maybe we'll stop with that though, which could be a nice plan. Might try that. Yeah, you're gonna the one's gonna be countered. We'll hit you with the umbrella flash. That works. We'll at least do something, right? Yeah, there's a lot of rupture on us. Very unfortunate. We just need to kill these guys fast. They're going to be doing a lot of damage. E yeah. Okay, some of them are cannibalizing themselves, each other though, right? Like, you're a little bit scary because you're actually attacking us. But we can ignore this guy entirely because he's just attacking his minion, right? I'm going to try something like that then. Are you going to do too much damage to us? I don't know. Okay, we got the counter off though, so which is going to be really good damage. Not going to have to kill you though. Um, that's two rupture triggers. Okay, we are on the brink. I think we pull through though. Funny how big of a threat the stabs are compared to like every other thing so far. We still might get hit by like the one guy if he kills his ally and then auto targets us with like the other skills, right? Yeah, like, that was not going for us. Uh. Rude. I don't know if it wasn't, I just didn't see it, but I'm fairly certain that was also going for his ally originally and just targeted into me. Okay, they might just kill each other though. And they're attacking me a little bit. And like the rats account means we're just in a really bad spot no matter what, right? Yeah, that's a restart. <laughs> Trash are scary. I don't know why I went for the Pierce node when I knew Trash Crabs was an option. I kind of forget that Trash Crabs usually aren't a threat, but the, the Rupture is bad. It really is. It just stacks so much and it just goes through protection, which is why it's so... It just really hurts us. So for someone who just really wants to get hit a lot of times, it's not nice. Let's see if we can counter you do some damage. Uh, I kind of actually want to deal with you, really. Yeah. Well, I need here. We're gonna hit all three of those guys. It'll win the clash against that one. Stop a decent bit of the rupture from going through. We'll still probably get a fair bit of rupture though, especially because we can't stop the rupture count because. Well, that's fine. Rupture count is unavoidable. We just want to avoid potency as much as possible. I think that's probably the best way to try going through this. Can we stagger these guys? Doesn't look like it. Mm, decent damage though, right? They got probably a pale life. The extra one that inflicts the rupture count of those. Uh, three. It's not unflicted because it's only on headset, I believe. So we've got a lot of rupture count, but not a lot of potency, and we might be able to make good use of that. And you hear more count, and this guy is with potency, but only on headset, because of the paralysis. No dice. It says this isn't attacking us. 
And I don't know how much I believe that. Actually, none of them are going for us this turn. Unfortunately, this redirects them, doesn't it? Yeah. Which is fine, actually, because they're not inflicting rupture cap. Okay. Assuming it's telling the truth and that it's not going to like hit us randomly, this should be pretty good. They're going to kill a bunch by attacking each other, but if we spell, we do gain more skill slots, which is good. We also staggered that guy again, so that's nice. Yeah, they hit us. No, that one's not just going to hit us, that's right. That's fine then. We staggered that guy too, so that's good. Okay, you are a menace. A very big menace. Okay, Dennis the menace, if you will. That's fine. We'll win some clashes here. Mass check a little bit. Just because we kind of need to make sure we don't have our sanity in too bad of a spot. We get some kills, that's cool. We might corrode this. We do, okay, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping it would not corrode, because if it stayed Awakening form, we would have hit the uh, big guy alongside it. We're going to take a fair bit of rupture and, and just damage in general here, which is not good. And we corrode now, which is also, once again, not good. Going to ADD, though. Can't even redirect everything here. That's not great. Um, what are we scared by, though? Probably mainly those two. Can we... Okay, that's guaranteed to go there, and that's guaranteed... Alright. That's fine. We'll do a lot of self damage here, which is not going to be fun. I think I'm more so willing to fight after this one now, because this fight was we've as good as won it already. But we're going to be not great in HP... We're gonna be neutral sanity, which honestly is fine. Neutral sanity is a good starting place for most fights. Okay, you died, though, so that's good. We got the lethograph healing, so that's something. But, but we're just barely above our stagger threshold, which is bad. We do have... We have prejudice? We do have prejudice, so we'll heal a little bit. I do not think a risky slash is kind of a good idea, even though it's more option. I think we gotta go for an old one. Risky slash has a... Too high of a chance of being something that can just slash us to death. Okay, okay these guys. Ooh. These are a good case of we can just immediately ADD them. Harvey on does a fair bit of damage, and I guess we don't stagger these guys necessarily, do we? No. We should probably spread out then. We're high speed, so we can get the sinking off pretty immediately. So we'll just reduce the damage we take by half this turn, so that's good. And we'll lose some sanity in the process, too. That's good. Yeah, I'm taking more damage than I'd like. These guys' sacrifices are a little too far away, just ego and prey, right? We go for an ADD here and we go for the counter so we get the sinking. Your attack goes first. We got staggered. That's not good. Okay. Do we lose because of the trash crabs? That's the main question here. Or can we turn this around? The saw blade row up the main issue. It's slash damage. We're weak to slash. Mm. Okay, you're doing nothing this turn, so it's actually a really good start, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. Still gonna... Ah, there's no reason, we're not gonna be able to get it there, okay. This is a ADD start, I believe. So, so no matter what, we can't get the protection for the actual one going for the strong attack, so we just ADD to do some decent damage. <laughs> Okay, that's my that's my feelings in the current situation here. Might just try to corrode, honestly, because we can't we can't protect against these, and I think it'll just stagger most likely. So I think I'm just gonna try corroding. I should probably, uh, ADD and then just 
do actual Persian Yasu Niyo, the defense will be low sanity, it'll be good. This will be pretty good damage though, that's for sure. And it should help out a fair bit. I'm also messing with friend. One of my friends just finally got around to finishing Leviathan. That's funny. Yeah, we crowed into this, that's fine. It'll be good. We'll throw all these guys. It's the easiest way to get through this fight. We're gonna be awful and resources, I'm sure. Hey, Gregor. He woke up from his little nap. Good boy. There we go, yeah. Sometimes corroding is just the way to go, especially when we've got so many blunt egos and they're weak to blunt. And the solid robots are scary. Oh, uh, this is basically a worthless for us. Cool. It happens. We've got better chances. You need to... Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to hit that. That's fine. You must have passed it anyway, so that works. Snow 2, we can sell that. This is fish. Can we kill fish? Maybe. I need to think. It doesn't have any slash attacks, at least, so that's good. Oh, the tail is slash, actually, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the one thing we need to be afraid of. Alright, that's okay. We're gonna take a lot of attack power down. But I think we'll be able to come out on top afterwards. We got a passive active, unless we spend so much envy we're out of it, but I don't think we spent envy. We might be able I should probably take a look at how my resources are doing, actually. But too bad. Yeah. A lot of bullet attacks that we're resisting. It's probably the only scary part. So we're probably gonna have like we're probably just gonna have like one slot that's always worrying about the tail. And that's the one that's actually doing decent damage when everyone else does like nothing. And also next turn we're gonna get blood lasers, of course. Of course. Um we'll need to be careful of that, but otherwise yeah. But not necessarily win, I guess. Yeah, that's worth a shot, I suppose. Okay, nice. We'll do some decent damage to the tail, not much. It's weak to sloth, though, that's why I thought it was still a decent choice. Uh, blood laser time, though. We do not want to get hit by this, so we'll probably ego both of them. I think that's the best way to do things. Actually, we lose the body sack. Interesting. Uh, we might need to resort to, the resort to the other egos then. Yikes. That's fine. And then we'll counter as well so that we get the... <laughs> so that we get the, the protection still. I do not like take 20 bleed, though. <laughs> if they stagger the left leg with that, that's nice. Okay, we also corrode here. Which isn't great, but at least we stopped the blood lasers, right? We're gonna need to corrode a lot, I think. There goes. Okay, this is fine though because you're not even attacking at all this turn, so it's good. We'll just go for the parts that are just. Yeah, I like that'll work. Cool. Oh, yeah, right, gotta select this. And we're just gonna use a lot of Yasu and Yada. Spend a lot of resources again, but that's fine. Cool. We're gonna do it more times. We'll also get a bunch of offense and defense all up because of this, right? Because it's funny like that. But yeah, 
bitches. This is actually like one of the easiest. I think the easiest probably is probably blubbering toad because that one you just kind of throw it and win. Oh, that's more so the case if you've got teleport, right? Without teleport, it's not as stupidly good. But even then, like you just kind of throw it and win against blubbering toad usually. Well, like, fish is also easy. Worst case scenario, I probably would be. What's that big bad here? Bad crash pads again, yeah. That fits, there's so many mass back and it's annoying. Oh, you also have 10 HP left, and we've got a. Uh... <laughs> Funny. Well, we've got high speed, so we just back you and you die. Okay, what do I want to do? Commemorative coin. Oh, you know, we should probably book them to these things. So, offense level up, defense level down, base power plus one, max HP. I, I probably just want to stick with this. Charge Fury is also not bad. A little bit of barrier first turn. Material and first first skills. It's never a good ego gift, but it helps us here, right? And getting a little bit charged can be good for ADD passive, right? I think I'll roll with that. We also get another ego gift, so we can just grab Wound Declare it, I guess. We could upgrade or something like. At the very end of the run, if our counter just gets a little bit of bleed infliction on it for the bit. It's a funny idea. Or about the horseshoe, that's more boys, I'll take it. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm so stupid. Low star is insanely good, and I just turned it down. I always forget about the secondary effect of it. I'm just so used to it being ha, oh, funny SP go down. Great code from her mass attack damage is nice. Really angry at myself for messing that up, but that's fine. We can actually change heat grip skills here. Do we want to? One to one to three probably. Yeah, we'll go for one to three. Good enough for me. Okay, yeah, so in case you don't know, low star um is a damage increase for spinners at low SP. And it's like a really good damage increase. Okay, Scarlet Moths is a damage increase effectively. We'll go forward, Pegatula. Good to go well. They're not very scary, most of the time. I guess some of them are- if you've got a fair bit of the ones that actually do slash damage, these guys are a bit of a nuisance for us, that's for sure. That's alright, you're the one who triggers the counter, so we'll take half damage from you three. And we're still doing honestly fairly fine on resources, because the, every fight is long, we're still doing fine, of course. It's unfortunate we've had to do a little bit of restarting this run, but that's true for most solos, right? There was the one time I soloed Mirror Dungeon 2 with the AC Rodian without, you know, needing to retry any fights, and that was kind of goaded. But, um, it is not- that was very lucky. I just banned Brian Shank against the bull in one. Nice. One damage up. Um, we probably want to kill you. I should not double spread out though, so I'll go for a counter. Or should I go for a puddle stomp? It's not a good idea. It's not a bad idea, but uh I don't know. Uh, you're going for greedy gluttons. I probably should uh, clash you then as well. Can I puddle stomp you decently? No, okay. We're gonna get a lot of sinking on self. We might throw it if we try this. We've actually got a pretty decent chance of corroding if we try this. That's fine. It means we're doing good damage this turn, which we kind of need. Okay, your attack gets to go first, I guess, so that's good. We don't have too much- I mean, look at how much thing we have on self, but that's the big issue here. We just got far too much thing on self, then we're gonna take five hits and then we're gonna corrode, right? I thought the skill 2 would have been nice, but I didn't like the class chances of it. Third against Pegatula is fine though, right? We've also staggered one of them, so we can ignore that guy. And that is unfortunate. Flash one of the ones going for greedy gluttons, and, uh... I'm saying it's unfortunate because we only got one actual attack. A little bit unlucky, that's okay, though. Okay, we did land the clip though, so we're doing a, we're doing a little bit of damage. If we get to the water, that'd be so funny though. 
Like, imagine getting a stupid crit damage. Yeah, um... Oh god! Because it's lost the trigger for the sky mountain really finally. Okay, cool. What happened? Nothing do you know. I'd be so excited over, I suppose. We get more kills now, too. We're getting more clips because we've got so much clothes. We don't even have the clover. Like, that's the funniest thing. It helps that we only use a single skill last turn, so we only will have the single poise count. But still, you see what I'm getting at. Good fight. We do get to get an EU gift here. Could, it could be Premier Calm Water if you want to be a real funny game. Oh, we didn't actually get the EU gift. That's unfortunate. Uh, Copying Crane's not great for us. We'll take it. Though, since it's, I guess it'll be like like a tiny bit of evil resource gain, right? It's specific, it's specific stuff we don't have, so that's nice. I'm not taking Gossip PM. Uh, no, thank you. We really need to focus. We need to stagger enemies a lot. This does mean we need to take down a couple gluttony enemies, which, once again, they are scary for us. They're also fairly fine. We'll spread out you since you're going for the greedy gluttons, and it'll be good enough to give us enough thinking to get the protection, anyways. Yeah, cool. 28 damage isn't great. We do have 34 sandy though, so it checks out. <laughs> we're not taking too much damage here. That's good. And now we're at the two skill slots, so that's good. Any of you greedy gluttoning, you are. We'll do that, and we'll probably just like counter you, sure. I guess that won't work the best, but that's fine. We'll take a full damage from this nibble, but we'll have our thinking after that point, so that's good. Yeah, counted as a little bit of damage, it would seem. Helps that we're at the point where, you know, we're, we've got pretty good crit chance now. You know, we've got the 60% crit chance, and we've got 9 poise count, so it's going to happen a fair bit. More nibbling, this time it is halved though, so that's good. We need to counter one of yous. Puddle stomp one and we'll puddle stomp you, so that should be decent. You're the one who's getting countered then. Enough to stagger you and basically destroy your body, and you do have damage, so that's good. Puddle stomp will win the clash, get some sanity. And do some damage. You get a third of the heads, so it's nothing insane, but we still do stagger, so I mean, we're still doing great. And Puddle Stomp is healing things to have in Grey Coat. Grey Coat is the Grey Goat, after all, as they say in the business. Hey, do this. We get the, <laughs> we get the Pungent Spring Breeze Broth, the Spice Bush passive. So now our mass attack does additional damage this turn. Very useful. We also got a lot of singing on self because we're going through so many skill 3s this turn. It doesn't matter too much because we can just crash everything for the rest of the fight. Although I might let something hit us next turn if something survives. Which something will survive, we're not killing all of them here, so... We can let the last strike attack us a little bit to get our sanity down a little bit. I like that idea. And you with some random skill 1s, you'll die to them of course. And we'll, get, we'll lose some sanity to the left guy, and then we should just kill you with the counter, I presume. Nice. Now you're 20 sanities too, so the head's chance is pretty good. Anyway, there we go. So we end up with Nugget's 21 sanity, which is pretty good. We're probably gonna have another fight before we get to the end of the floor, though, just based on the length of it. Although maybe it'll be an event or something if we get lucky. It's not. Yeah. Pierce node, which means it could be grabs, though, so it's, it's important to be in this. Great position as we can be before we go to a Pierce node. Okay, Rose Banner, though, so not a big deal. There are some Slash ones here, though, that actually do do a fair bit to us, God. Well, that's fine. We can Clash one of them, and we'll get enough thinking from that to be set for the fight. Or set for the turn, I should say. Not for the entire fight, of course. We win with two coins, so that's decent damage. We did have to instantly stagger, so that's cool. And we've got our 5 protection, so that's good. There's a scary attack. 
We're still fine though, so that's good. Okay, low sand D, we're gonna want to crash here, so I'll do something like this probably. That'll work. Counter you, get a little bit of sinking going thanks to that. Actually, we're gonna get a fair bit of sinking going, yeah. We'll pass this spread out so that was so we're still doing fine on sanity. Not getting too low. And spread out like into the pierce weakness. Almost staggered. If you got one more tail there, it would have staggered. So it's so close to get so far. Another strong gluttony attack, but not enough for us to be scared. Oh, we did throw it though. That's actually fairly worth being a little scared about. Depending on what we can clash and what we can't clash. Okay, you go there. You go there. You go there. And that'll be good, yeah. We'll do a lot of self damage here. We well, already curled ADD though, so we will get a charge up, which means we will get healed anytime we get hit for the rest of the fight. So that's nice at least. And we can really throw the blunt, so it's still decent damage. I mean, you know, the gloom damage up from Linton, we get the blunt damage up from our passive and from Rodion's passive. That's pretty good. We staggered though, it's King of Frog Eye, so. That's good. I don't like you very much, you're doing too much damage to Sunflip, so, um, your fate is that you get sentenced to, um, the pit of eternal despair. Also known as, as, of to fight for a bead for the rest of Torgatory. It's like, you know, when you kill someone with ADD, maybe it's like a Sisyphus type thing, but instead of pushing the boulder, they need to kill Shock Centipede. But Shock Centipede has, like, 99 of self-charge, and it keeps on building up after you can drain it. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to imagine Sisyphus happy in situations like that, though. That's for sure. Okay, we can use a lot of skill 3s for the bit. I like that idea. We'll take some damage. We might get staggered here. Yeah. What if we ADD, though? What if we ADD, though? That is a good question. Well, if we ADD, we heal up a bunch. That's that's what I'm getting at here, because we not only do we get a good we're going to stagger some people. Um, we get a huge amount of healing there, so we're immediately up to full. And then we throw a bunch of squad in hopes. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of self sinking, so if someone does hit us, it's going to happen. We're going to lose a lot of sanity. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, we come over again. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's fine. It means you, we don't need to worry about being staggered here. And it means we can get, uh, more ADDs off. It means more damage, <laughs> though, because we're gonna get the tails and lose 10 percent of our HP again. That's alright, though. It's alright. Look at ADD. There we go. Um, do we get an event here, or do we have another fight before we get to go to the boss? That's the question. Oh, another fight, but we can go for back at two lab, so that's fine. We're definitely corroding a little bit too much on this floor. Uh, how are we doing on resources? Okay. We're still doing fine. That's good, at least. This is also a fun fight to just ADD these guys. If they're all weak to it, and I kind of want to. It means we'll take a fair bit of damage from you, but, you, but like, that's okay. It's worth it. Because we get to ADD these guys, and it's going to do a lot of damage. Because they're weak to blunt, and they're weak to gloom, and we'll heal up a bunch. Not we need to heal right now, but, uh... It's so nice to do. It's a good feeling to just instantly bring these guys to, like, basically the brink of despair. And we're not taking too much damage here. Yeah, that's fine. The more damage we take, the better, really, because if we take more than 50% of our HP, we just get a bunch of blunt damage up next turn, right? And it looks like we did get a bunch of blunt damage up. Oh, you exploded thanks to the butterflies or the moth. Love to see it. Flash. Counter. We're gonna have a fair bit of singing on self here, so that's fine. We might corrode. <laughs> One must imagine Sisyphus corroded. One must imagine ADD. The shock tend to be Sisyphus uh, corroded. What am I even singing? Who can say? I can probably say, couldn't I? Yeah, I could. 
I'm too greedy and I refuse to say, I suppose. I, I do, I do say. Yeah, no skill 3 this turn. We do not need more thinking. We need to win some classes. Nice class, <laughs> Nice. And we're at the point where the enemies are higher level than us here, so we are actually getting sandy for killing them. It's a little bit good. It's a little bit bad too, of course. There's a, there's a middle ground. Um, we get a protection, so that's good. And we should just deal the kill here. Girl, we're all that. And that'll work well. We're gonna do a lot of stinging on salt, but because we're just clash winning and we're not taking one set hits at all, we can spam skill 3 as much as we want. We're all gonna do one, like, count each turn, basically. Thanks to the passive and nothing else, since we're not gonna let any one side attack go through for the rest of the fight. And we're probably, we're probably gonna be good in Sandy. We might actually let them hit us a little bit so we get our Sandy down for the boss. Yeah. Do something like that. Well, so we take some SP damage from the piercing lust. We counter you. We might just stagger slash kill you with the counter. It will be staggered you at least, so that's something. And then we out of damage, you die, we win. Simple as. And negative three sanity, cool. So now we move on to the floor four boss. We're um a little over an hour into this run. It happens. Thorny paths and we're sinking, so we'll take it. And Pierce Gloom, so it's either Centipede, Fox, or KQE. None of which are too bad. Fox would be a little rough. Yeah, so of course it's Fox for that reason. Um, because... Well, I mean, this issue with Fox is fairly logical. We're getting so much rupture count and singing because we cannot kill these guys nearly fast enough. In turn one, I think I'm just gonna focus on making sure I take put the sinking protection off, right? I don't care if you win this class or lose this class, by the way. We get singing either way, right? So we get the protection, so we don't take too much damage here. Also, we instantly corrode. Um, that, that'll be good, though. That means we'll have some mass attacks to use, because we'll either corrode into ADD, which is not great, or we'll corrode into, um, Yasunyata, which is pretty great. Okay. Once again, I really shouldn't have said anything, huh? We're gonna take so much damage this turn. You know, so let me just restart this. I'm sure it's doable, but, like... That was a bit of a bad show, as they say. Probably should not skill 3. That's a little bit too much SP loss. Should just counter skill turn 1. And then worry about this. Probably, like, worry about the other stuff the next turn. Didn't mean to hit that. I didn't actually hit that. I thought I hit one of the auto buttons on accident. But it turns out I just straight up didn't hit it. Cool. He was playing and singing anyway, so we're gonna lose a bunch of SP no matter what. So we might just throw it even if we're not, like, using the skill 3. Either way, we're taking a lot of rupture count, aren't we? In these random attacks. That's fine, we're resisting him at least, so it's not, like, too bad in that front. Um, turn 2 is the turn where we gotta be a little bit more thinking. Like, we're going to need to counter. That's for sure. And we probably want to Yasin Yada, because we can corrode it. And if we're lucky, it'll hit a bunch of these guys, which would be nice. Right? We're gonna corrode next turn, basically, no matter what. I kind of accepted that as, you know, back. We're also gonna get staggered here, no matter what, aren't we? Not great. We're not going to do anything, so we're not down for the count yet, I guess. Alright, okay, next turn I guess the Umbrella's attack. Did Umbrella's attack turn 3? I usually have them all killed by turn 3, so I don't know. They do attack turn 3. Oh, we do corrode though, so that's cool. Unfortunately, uh... Not great. It's worth a try though, I suppose. 
What? Okay, I thought I hit that. I did not though. I think we had three umbrellas there. So we were gonna get hit by one umbrella next turn? That's something. But uh, oh yeah, we also heal up the throw because of uh, uh, great code here. I think. Uh, we heal like what? 100? That's not quite the full, but yeah. That's, it's pretty good either way. Yeah, we're not doomed yet then. That's cool. Because I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, protect that fox, really. No. Simple answer. I don't know if we win the clash, so we're just gonna let it hit us and go all in on the head. <laughs> Like, cause like, oh no, we're gonna have so much sinking, you're gonna stagger us so much. Or you're gonna, I was saying, you're gonna corrode us so much because we're going for three skill threes. I like if the skill two will reduce it a little bit. I was saying, isn't great though, so we're not rolling very well here, but that's fine. You're down pretty low already. Look at the protections, you're not gonna do a lot of damage here. You also can't stagger us physically because we're out of stagger threshold. And we're gonna corrode next turn, but that's fine. Who approached the fox? Oh, uh, you can approach the fox, you got this. You actually did get this knife. You <laughs> know, it's gonna just be... Ah, oh, darn, what a, what a real shame, what a real... Unfortunate predicament, huh? If this lost 10 SP, it would be a shame, you know, if that mattered. Yeah, we're good. You know, sometimes things just go right, you know? Like, is this, is this a very clean run? No, but that's part of the fun, right? That's how I look at it, at least. It is a horribly messy run, and that is so fun, isn't it? We're gonna, the, the wheel of Samsung turns so much. It turns once, it turns twice, it turns three times, it turns four times. You know? For that existence, for that design, you know? I'm saying you know a lot, but like, what, what's the time goal supposed to be when this fight is? There's been like eight Yasunyatas this fight. Like, there hasn't been that many. It's been like, it's been what, six, I think? Something like that. I don't know. I haven't been keeping count. But you know, there's been a lot of Yasunyatas. And we're still, we're still one more. Give it, give it a second. I thought I did take a funny screenshot earlier. Because I took a screenshot of Sun uh, Cliff when he had like a stupid defense level. For the bit. And he died with the funny uh, mock. That's cool. Uh, what do we take here? Max HP up. I actually kind of like them just taking the max HP up one. Sure, they're going to be super resistant, but uh, that's fine. They can't out resist us. Do we take standard due to battery? I think so. Probably the best choice. We also do get a shrap here. Means we could get like a tier 4 or something. Right? Hmm? Hmm? Nothing good. There's low star, but there's the redemption. As the ZSP do 10% more damage. Pretty nice. Melted Spring is sinking too, but not great. Painkiller. If we get staggered, we're basically done for, so I'm not too concerned with that. Homeward, meh. Go to get prejudice. Give Sonic Cliff another skill 3 for the bit. I should have given him another skill 2, actually, but that's fine. There's down 4, actually. That's not a bad choice. Stone Tomb does nothing for us. We'll take it. My other is nothing great at this point, we'll take it. Downpour is spam tremor for the bit. We can also take Nixie Divergence too for the bit. Uh, Wolf Sweat and Tears is nice, but not nice enough for me to care. Do we really need resource stuff still? Actually, what are the stuff that just didn't change me? Nothing. Red Blood, smoke, smoke and Wires don't need it. We roll this again. Roll one more time for the bit. Reverberation? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't need it. People, Sean. We need to see if we can make it through this floor. So this floor is when things are really bad. Especially because we took the thing that makes enemies super bulky. 
Oh god. Give it a second. I don't know if it's gonna sound weird on OBS, but... Uh, I was being weird for a second. Um, it should be fine though. Middle white guys, two waves of them. You know, you, you know how it is. We can go for the spread out though, that'll be solid. I'm mean, sure there's blunt, so it's nothing too bad. We also versus Zenji, I'm pretty sure. It's so, like, we're just gonna be thoring through this, right? They've got a lot of HP and they're not gonna take a lot of damage, but that's okay. That's how this floor is gonna be. They're also not gonna deal. We've purposely gone for like crap that does not increase the damage after three much. Like, you know, defensive skill power, firepower plus one, base power plus one. Like, the only offensive boost they get, particularly, is plus two power. Now, their defense level is pretty good. They've got a lot of HP, so it's a little bit rough on the, in, in those regards, but like, we'd win. Try that. Out, win the clash, get some, get some sinking on cell, that sort of stuff, and we're gonna be able to skill two one of the, the guy that's defending kind of randomly. It'll be good. Nice. Good stagger. Off balance enemy, yeah. Where is? Uh, we should do it like this, I think. Yeah, it'll work. Puddle stomp. I guess puddle stomp doesn't win these necessarily. That's fine. We lose a clash, but it doesn't mean we lose a bit more sanity than I'd really like. But I think we're mostly fine still. But yeah, win the clash. We actually have a lot of seeing that, so we're gonna corrode next turn. That's not great. There it is. Didn't think it was too well enough, that's fine. Alright. Oh, uh, this looks pretty good though. It's a real world, but only one mass stack, but that's fine. It happens sometimes. Also, do keep in mind though, we're gonna do stupid amounts of damage with the butterfly next turn. So for our mobs, we'll basically do half the damage we deal with this attack uh, to two enemies next turn. Okay, just instantly killing two of these guys. Oh, yeah, like that. Exactly what I was trying to show. Thank you, game. Thank you for the showcase. Very excellent job. Alright, and you guys now. Hmm. What's the play here? I'm going to do the Kurodi and Yada. And just do a bunch of other random things. Like, over the skill 3s, everything else should probably just counter, because I don't think skill 2s can win, like, anything right here. This is fine. Not doing a lot of enemies because we didn't have low enough sanity to. Oh, you think it hit? I have one additional enemy, right? Yeah, whatever. That's okay. And once again, it's going to do half the damage to two enemies next turn, so two enemies are just going to take a solid 130 damage next turn. It's why I'm going for Yusuke out immediately. I guess you couldn't tell. But we might just be able to get some random moves off. Right. We're also going to have a lot of sinking. On self, thanks to how many skill threes we're going for here. That's cool. And yeah, we're corroding, thanks to you. That's fine. Two people explode. Oh, they didn't die from the explosion, though. Mm. <laughs> we love it. We, re we really do love it. I love soloing so much. I love it too frequently because it, so, it takes a while. But, like, it's just so infinitely entertaining. Like, yeah, we're just going for so many egos. So many Yasin Yadas this turn. 
Like, it's really not going to help us that much to do so many of them, right? Yeah, we're playing these guys. There's still one guy left, so we need to go for one more yes in the other. As you do, right? When when they when you yasin yada, you yasin yada. I don't know. There we go. I'm not doing anything this way to get you counter. Take me a second to process what was going on. Oh, this isn't good. Actually, it's fine. We're gonna lose some sanity from this. We've got a very low chance to win this, so we'll take it. Or not very low, but a low chance. Okay. We just got the Ancient Death and G, so now we're just gonna get a bunch of haste stacking on these guys, I guess. Why not? Okay, um... <laughs> I don't even know what the strategy here is. I think you guys are just dying to know what, what, what genius plan I've got for this... <laughs> or for this fight. I'm sorry, it's just too funny. Like, imagine... I'm not doing it today because, like, if I did this next week or tomorrow or something, I'd have a Valve Ego too. And I don't know just how stupid his Valve Ego will be for the sake of this bit, right? No clue whatsoever. It might be, like, insanely stupid. It might be only, like, moderately stupid. I don't know. We'll see in time, of course. Two people explode, yep, as we expect to see. And we shouldn't need to ego this turn. We can stack out a student at the same on stuff, though, if we want to be funny. Which we do want to be funny. Plunk. Yeah, we're taking a little bit of nails. That's okay. We're actually not doing very much of any bleed. <laughs> and we're gonna Peru into a Yasin Yasin for the second wave. That was pretty convenient. Because I would have just used for Yasin Yasin either way. Okay, we only get one, but that's fine. That's what we need sometimes, right? We're well, basically like an unkillable god at this point, it feels like. But that's fine. It's really funny to be an unkillable god. We're going to have three enemies, excellent, or four enemies. Which means, you know, once again, half of the game until we go to two enemies next turn. Thank you being the only attack we're going. It's the first attack we're going for. And, you know, so it's going to do, how much is it going to do? 400, 500, so it's going to do, like, what? It's going to do, like, 200 damage to two enemies, so it's going to explode two enemies. Well, some of these guys, you're the only one who isn't staggered, I think, but... You're going for some attack, that's rude. But, you know... Oh, you're also unstaggered. On the brink, though, that's unfortunate. Yeah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> There's the sun deniers for being lame. This guy was a goat. He's got... He, he, he's just... I'm just laughing. <laughs> Because, like, uh, so much of what's going on has been just uncomprehensible just garbage being thrown at the enemies. Like, these poor Inquisitors were just trying to, you know, like, be, like, ableist in peace. Uh, and we brutally slaughtered them. And, like, they had it coming, of course, but... That's so funny. Hey, Bugs, these guys are actually also fairly scary, all things considered. Go for the Awakening one this time. Let's, let's mix things up a little bit. Let's go for Awakening Yasin Yada instead of, you know, just another Corrosion. We got Tails, so that's unfortunate. That's alright, though. Our standard was high enough that we still did get one additional target, so we're hitting all four. We're not doing a lot of damage. These guys aren't weak to blunt, but that's the thing. But like, two of them will take 40 damage next turn. It's not great. I probably should have been playing him properly here. 
instead of continuing the silly bit. That's fine though, we can actually play him properly here now, right? Yeah, you guys aren't doing much scary stuff. Actually, we're gonna throw it if we do this, aren't we? Because we're gonna get so much sinking on self with the double spread out strat. We're definitely not doing a lot of damage without Ego Spam, though. Like, we've been really lucky with what fights we've been getting on this floor. Like, we've gotten some stuff weak to blunt, and now we're getting just bug guys. The game's a little scary because they do have slash stacks. And you know, slash attack to scale. They've got slash lost attacks, which is kind of what we're afraid of a lot of the time. Although we do resist lost this fight because, uh. Well, I think the reason is fairly obvious. We're both slash, why not? We lose him, sorry, turns once. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. Love to see it. We love to see a, a good explosion now and then. Um, you know what? No. We don't need to meet the ego. But we're doing it for a little bit here. Once again, because of how many skill threes we're going for, we are most likely going with Karodi. Either way, this turn. What was that puddle thumb? That's nice. Stuff. Actually, we might not if we win a lot of clashes, though, right? I guess we'll have to see how this goes. I don't know how many one-side attacks. We're still playing enough one-side attacks that we should, but at the same time, I think the one-side attacks might have already all gone through, right? Yeah. We've got a couple skill threes this turn. <laughs> and we win our clashes as always. We're gonna get a lot of sinking this turn though. That's a nice 25 singing with a 14 count. Okay, spread out for a little up to 31 singing with a 17 count. It'd be so funny. But you can't get the big, you can't get like, if you have the big boy with mermaids in, in <laughs> it would be so funny. Because you're the one that I'm singing Deluge, right? But we could just die a horrible death if we got singing Deluge right now, right? Yeah, we're taking we lose, we lose, we lose two and still lose all of our sanity, basically. Oh, we actually didn't lose all of our sanity. Okay, well, we can use a couple more skill trees. I think our sanity's a little, I think our, uh, thinking's pretty lower, right? Well, we're reaching the 45, so we don't even gain sanity from clashing now, so we can just get as many tails as we want with no consequences. I'm still getting a favor to hails. Yeah, it all works. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, one well, well, wasn't enough, you know. You can still live with just one, you know, Wheel of Samsara turn. You, you, the Wheel of Samsara can't only turn once. If the cast equal, if the cast adder, if the Wheel of Samsara turns once, it's gonna want milk to go with its Samsara. Okay, we can get an, uh, an event here. That's cool. Cyclops. Awesome. Uh, 50 50. Okay, we won a 50. We're, we're, we're getting the lucky. We got the NDA now. Uh, NDA only works if we don't get hit, right? 
Yeah, so it's not gonna help. And some pirates. Okay, this this work. Um, fun fact: these guys are weak to blunt, right? Okay. So just theoretically, if I were to corrode Yasunyada again, with like, who are the isles I'm gonna corrode Yasunyada again? Um, how would that make you feel? I feel like, uh, I don't know, the answer is I feel like I'm a really bad therapist for Sonicliff. I'm just imagining him lying on the therapy bed, I'm just sitting next to him like the crow bird, and I'm like, oh, distort, 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 distort. It's really fitting, because like, I wonder if this is going to be accurate representation of the ending of Canto 6. Like, is, do you think this is going to be what happens in like the third part of Canto 6? Do you think he's going to be spamming Yasta and Yada? He's going to be have so much singing that he crows basically instantly, uh -huh. Is it all- is, is the ending of Canto 6 my fault for this? Oh, it's an ending. Is it's the it's the third part of Canto 6 my fault? But it's so like it's really like, it's really making me feel like you know these are the current points of my act, and it's because of me that you know the current guys of me that you know each cliff is uh not doing too well. So I've been kind of treating him a little bit not great, right? Cool, book snag, that's fine. Dun 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 Okay, bro, only a single Yasunyada, that's fine. Sometimes uh, that's just how the Yasunyada uh, tumbles. Yasun tumble. Okay, we hit all of them. Make sure the heads this time, that's unfortunate. Would've been really nice damage if not for the heads. Well, so we're kind of sinking that we're gonna get 5 protection no matter what, because uh, we've got like, what, 60 sinking with like 30 count again. It really give or take. Um, we'll do this. We don't want to use any skill twos because then it would reduce our sinking, and we would never want to reduce our sinking. You actually got a fair bit of bleed, so you might want to be a little bit more careful. Oh, don't tell me I fail after all this. Uh, the answer may surprise you. What me throwing after this awful abysmal run? It's more likely than you may think. Now we got this. We win. You explode, we corrode, and then we uncorrode it like our new protocol second. We get our shot now. Okay, what are, we, what, are we, what are we missing at this point? Literally not a pleasure. It's something. I kind of needed a reroll until we get like a funny tier four. Or a clover. Actually, that's also fairly funny. Well, you want to sell a bunch of stuff here. Because clover doesn't help us at this point. Perversion is. Or that wasn't clover, but you, I didn't mean to say clover. I don't know why I said clover, but you know what I mean. Green spear. We don't We don't need. Actually, it's kind of yeah, nice, but we don't actually have anything else like stemmer. Bloody, so it doesn't actually do anything for us. A lot of stuff we can sell here. A lot of stuff that really doesn't matter anymore. ND8 actually physically can't trigger for us, so we might as well sell that. Um, speed, I don't really care about speed that much. Okay, cool. We'll take Bell of Truth. Actually, you know what? Let's roll with this. We're gonna upgrade some things a little bit. So of course, low star plus plus, so we do 25% more damage now. We get downpour to plus plus, because we pair it with Bellatruth plus plus, for stupid fragile stacking. 
Let's plus plus is just more charge. Mad boring. This is good for a counter, which we're actually probably not going to use much at all. Uh, anything else to upgrade? I guess we can upgrade material interference field for a little bit charge. Very cool. Maybe we should have healed up uh, you a little bit. Okay, Slash and Wrath. This is Clam, right? I think it's the Clam, which is funny. Yeah. Oh, we're actually low enough that we're below our first stagger threshold, so it's actually fairly convenient. Okay, let's try fighting you normally, at least to start out with, right? We can go for the immediate spread out. It'll be nice. Chance there we win these clash after all. In the end, right? Yeah, nice. We get some sanity, but we also get some singing on self. So we're going We're gonna take a lot of hits here, but we've got the protection, so we're mostly fine. If we can get another spread out going. Um, I think so. The plan here is a little obvious, I think. One hit U3 with this. Spread out, get more sinking on the south to make sure we're fine. Let me Karada, that's fine. Did we, did we still hit the one that he was targeting? I hope so. I didn't actually look. I just figured it didn't, didn't matter too much. We're getting all the maggots, which means... Actually, your maggots are going to reduce our SP a bunch, isn't it? No, they're gone. Okay, never mind. Where's the twinkling thing that I've not built? It's the pearl! The, um... We'll try it. Yasunyad is gonna corrode is the big issue. So we can't actually manually target with it. Let's see if any of the actual ones will just target correctly anyways, or at least hit 2 out of 3. Then I'd probably be satisfied with that, right? None of them hit 2 out of 3 even, that's fine then. I will probably still go for it. I'm not really that concerned if you get your green slime stuff working. If I'm going to be completely honest, we could just... Honestly, let's just kill the green slime. Why not? No, let's see. Um, one of these hits, one of them guaranteed, right? Yeah, like, what if we do this? And then, so we... If we do this, then we make sure we kill those two if they don't die, right? That'll work. Seems about pretty solid. And then we get the Yasunya to finish the last one off and also hit the clam a little bit. Yeah, that works well enough. Not as good as if we kind of went all in on the clam, but uh, we also have a lot of things on stuff, so I think if the clam hits us like what twice this turn and we do corrode, that's good, anyways. Nice. Cool, you're attacking us a bunch. You're getting a bunch of poison, which will slowly chip away at us, but not enough for me to be too concerned. We're taking its meaning away. Uh, we just need to get three tails here. Darn. Oh, we lost 20 SP. What a shame. He's corroded. And most of them are gonna hit everything anyways, right? I think so. We're not too concerned. There we go. That'll work. Get a lot of Yas and Yadas off here. This one's actually gonna kill all the green slimes instantly. Which will all them hit all four targets, pretty much guaranteed, but it's very much pretty much guarantees it, right? If my wording makes any sense. Yes, I'm not a really my ego as well. And the funny part is the fact that, like, Teleple is probably stronger because that's stupidly it rolls. But bad if this isn't just so funny. 
And it's cool animation too, and also the fact that that's what the defense level is backing when we hit enemies a bunch with it. It means the next time we're going to a little bit of defense level up, just a little bit, just a wee bit, a mile amount, tiny amount, a little bit, a little bit. And also, we will trigger uh, the mobs again to do just a bunch of damage you'll have for the first one we did. Yeah. We're gonna get a little bit of sinking on self this turn. Thing. Nice. Okay, now we just gotta do it a couple more times. Okay, yeah, Pearl has been broken. And this spray out finishes the job. There we go. Easy clam fight. There we go. We only have to it a couple of times for this run, but so it wasn't too bad. It's kind of expected to have a solo run. But yeah, um, Suncliff Doubters... If Suncliff is on in a team... No, he's awful on a team, but he's really fun when you solo with him, right? And at the end of the day, that's, that's the kind of the crucial part about it. He's, he's very silly. And we do not claim our reward it almost claimed them on accident. Because we'll claim them when the update actually comes out. Or not when the update comes out, but when the day resets. We don't need to wait till the update comes out. But it'll pull us to like a nice solid level, like 150-ish. And you combine with like the daily weekly stuff, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna do the boxes that i using with. I'll probably use a lot of them just to uptie the egos. I'm sure that some of them will be fun to update, especially Heath Fifth, of course, that'll be obvious. But yeah, this is an this is an hour and a half long episode, and I'm I'll probably release it a little earlier than normal because it's so long. That's the reason why it's been released a little bit early. I think if you do see this released earlier, because I remember, because um, I cannot really reasonably post a one and a half hour video two hours before maintenance or maintenance ends. Oh, that was stupid. Cool. Shards, nice. We're doing pretty good on shards for most of these people, so that's nice. But yeah, uh, Suncliff, my beloved, Yasunyata spam, funny. Anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Enjoy Canto 6. Bye.